here we are. Okay, so this is, took me a minute to figure this out. So thank you so much for being patient with me. Give me just a second here. My dog is right next to me driving me nuts because I have a plate in front of me and he thinks I have food. <laughs> so if you hear heavy breathing, I promise that's my dog. And then I'm just a little bit behind tonight because teenagers and because... Uh, this is my first YouTube live, so it took me a second to get where I needed to go. I'm just bringing this up on my little screen so I can see myself and what I'm doing, and then I am going to get started. Um, if you're joining me tonight, um, I would love it if you would comment, share, give me a like. Uh, that's super helpful on YouTube. Um, tonight we are taking some inspiration from Andre Matisse, who is a French artist, um, and his work um, is very colorful and fun. And so um, the pieces that I have given, I printed everything off, that I've given as an example um, are bright, colorful works. Oops, I am missing one. I think I left one on my printer. Hey, Charlotte, will you give me the paper off my printer, please? Thank you. Um, but two of his pieces here, um, one is called Mermaid and one is called... Um, Gerb, uh, which I think means flower or is a type of flower. Um, but these are two of his pieces and in person they are just big and massive. Um, but he works a lot with these uh, bright and colorful abstracts. So um, that is where I am going to take my inspiration from today. And um, I'm just going to work in my art journal. I've got a mixed media journal here. Um, I did include some um, tracers and samples for you. So um, if you've printed these off, awesome. If not, you don't really need them. I just wanted to give you kind of um, a starting point. So um, for example, right here is actually just a tracer I made from um, this piece here. And if you are so inclined tonight and you're not feeling um, like you can do this on your own, you can just color along with us. If that's what you want to do, you could paint your own version right on this paper. Um, or you can work along with me and kind of do your own thing. So um, let's see here. I, think that's, I don't really need to say much more, but I'm just going to work in my art journal. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of take inspiration from um, the colors, the weird shapes he's got. Um, and I'm going to start by doing a background here. Um, and so I'm going to change up his colors, but I'm still going to use some nice bright colors because he uses so many bright, bright, bright colors. See, he does white for a background, so I think I'm going to do black for my background. I'm 
sometimes when I work in this journal, I put on some tape up here at the end just to keep it from getting on the wires and it gives it a nice plain edge there, straight edge. So I'm gonna start by painting my background here black. Um, Matisse doesn't usually ever use a black background. So this is kind of my way of just changing it up. I'm going to primarily work this evening in acrylic paint in my journal. I'm not gonna use any crazy supplies. Um, this is the artist inspiration lessons that I do. Um, really you can take um, and do any medium. Um, what I love about them is uh, we're just looking at pieces from um, artists that we have have seen and know and we're just getting inspiration for ourselves um, to try something a little different. So another way to, for example, another way we could change the lesson is to, to recreate it in watercolor or recreate it with marker or um, I think Matisse is kind of a fun artist to recreate and take inspiration when you're doing collage. Um, it's kind of fun to cut and glue those random shapes. So there's lots of different ways. Sorry about the dog squeaks. I try to keep the dogs out of my room when I'm um, going live, but tonight they're just not having it. The bark box came today, so it's squeak day. If you're here with me today following along, I would love it if you could just say hi in the comments. Um, just so I know you're here. Um, I used to do the artist inspirations all the time on Facebook and I thought um, I kind of took a break as things got crazy over the holidays. Um, so I thought this would be a nice way to maybe reach some different people on a different platform, um, spread some art and creativity that way. So I moved them over here. So this is new to me using the YouTube platform. All right, so I'm making a nice solid background um, because in my samples, um, most of these are fairly solid. I think I personally am going to primarily take inspiration from this piece here um, and just kind of change up the shapes and the colors, the colorway. Um, this is another sample of his work and it's a nice bright red background and he does change um, the hues of red that he uses in this background. So you really can be pretty flexible. Um, if you're feeling froggy, you can even look up uh, Matisse's work online and you'll just get hundreds and hundreds of different ideas. Um, but the next thing I'm going to do here, and you might have trouble seeing this as I'm working, is I'm going to draw some um, just little abstract shapes. So this is where you can use your tracers. Um, if you want to directly uh, trace these onto your page, you can do so with a pencil. Um, all you would need to do is color on the back of your piece like this, and then trace on, actually, let me show you, um, trace on the front. You can also do this with chalk. Um, so for example, I've got this dark background here, so I can, I can color, on the back with white or colored chalk. And then wherever I want to 
put my shape, I can just trace over. And the chalk will transfer. Um, now it's kind of messy, but the beauty of chalk is you can just wipe it off. So um, that's an example of how to do the transfer. If you have a white background, you can just use your pencil in a similar way um, and you will get your shapes that way. So since I started with this, I'm just gonna draw a few more of these funny shapes, these seaweedy shapes they remind me of. And I'm not going to worry about them all being the same. As you can see in the original piece here, they're all kind of crazy. So um, they're organic, they're all different. Um, and so that makes it very easy to take inspiration from Matisse because you don't have to be a realistic artist to be able to replicate some of these uh, weird gooey shapes. I call them gooey shapes, I don't know. That's the right word, but so I'm just going to draw some on here. Um, you can see it lightly in pencil, and then I'm going to come back and add some nice, fun colors. And while you're working on this part, definitely just add some things that feel like your own, you know, add some symbols that mean something to you. I'm loving that squeak, Magnum. Keep it up, buddy. This shape is just a little off center, this whole pattern I'm making. So I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Come on, guys. 
all day long. They lay down and they're quiet. And then I start to work on something. And of course, that's when they want to be noisy. Super frustrating. All right, so I've kind of got just a little sketch down here and now I'm just going to pick some colors and paint it in. And I work a lot in metallics, so I think that's the direction I'm going to go tonight. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with as far as your colors. the reasons I like to do these artist inspiration sessions is because um, not to you know dismiss the work and the beauty of these really famous um, artists and these famous works but a lot of times um, they can be replicated these are things that you can do in your own way um, fairly easily and um, it's kind of reassuring to people to know that you can do this. You can be an artist. You can do things just as complicated um, and beautiful as some of the famous artists. Charlotte, that was rude. Don't do that again. Yeah, I'm, I'm online. <laughs> thinking about what to do next. I 
Painting these weird shapes are kind of fun. Because you can just kind of go with it. And I'm not worried about symmetry or perfection. These are just kind of fun and easy. Okay, so I finished these and I'm just going to kind of go through my shapes here and build them all in. As you can tell, these um, artist inspiration sessions, they don't have a lot of instruction just because um, it really is designed for you to take your own inspiration uh, and create your own inspired piece. shaking up my paint here. I think my dogs are just like my children. They know when I need them to be quiet and they choose to make the most noise at that point in time where they know I'm busy and can't make them stop doing what they're doing. They're crazy, these spoiled dogs, I'm telling you. Lucky I love them. They are officially being jerks. They're getting kicked out. Oh. 
Bye bye puppies. I got the boot. And I'm just going over because I have this dark black background. I've got to kind of go over these metallics with a second coat ish. All right. Going to add in some purple because purple is one of my favorite colors. Let that dry for just a second. A lot of Matisse's artwork um, is about finding the balance and the movement. There's a lot of movement, a lot of colors. Um, there's not perfect symmetry, but there's a lot of balance in his work. And that's kind of what it's about is just being able to play, making your eye move around the page. So a lot of repetition in the types of shapes. So even though I've sketched um, 
Now I'm adding some in, I'm changing. These little peanuts were kind of fun. They remind me of peanuts, you know, like in the shell. So adding in a few more of those. Let's see what other colors I can round up here. Water on my brush right there. It's to be a little thicker. Let this metallic white dry a little bit. I'm gonna give that just a second.
doing my little second coat of white here. So if you're working along with me, this could very easily be changed by doing it in a different medium. Um, this would be very easy to do with markers, with watercolor, colored pencils, oil pastels. Um, this would be very easy to change, but all of the different mediums would give you a very different look. Whoa, runaway paintbrush. color I want to add here it's green Let's see if I can find me a green it's been a little difficult to find lately I've been doing okay finding basic colors when I shop for paint but like the specialty paints like um the craft paint sections have been fairly picked over in all the stores I go to. And so the ones like the metallics and the iridescent colors and all the specialty ones seem to be gone. So I'm pretty much working with what I have on hand lately, which is a lot because I kind of a art supply addict. I like to try new things. So I've always got something new going on. As I'm painting, I'm even changing my doodles. Um, the doodles I made were not very flowy and organic. So I'm just, I was, you know, that looked more like a teardrop when I started. And now it looks more like a a seaweed. I've got the bulk of my piece done here. Um, I could, you know, keep it as it is. I think I'm just going to add a little more 
some fun dots and dashes. Um, as you can see, I still have some of my tracer lines from the chalk. Um, when all of my paint is completely dry, I can just kind of rub on that and it'll go away. Now I'm just kind of adding in some doodles. More than anything, these uh, artist inspiration lessons are just designed to be opportunities to um, maybe create something you've never tried before or um, just to experiment and play with art. Um, the end goal sometimes, you know, might be a beautiful piece that you want to frame. Other times it might just be um, an opportunity to have a little fun with some materials. So no matter how you feel about uh, the way yours is looking. Um, no art is ever a wasted opportunity. So um, I hope you are enjoying the process. I never create like this. Um, I never just make kind of these free form organic shapes. So I enjoyed kind of just playing with that a little bit. Um, just kind of adding doodles to see what happens. You know, this this piece right here that I made is not something that I'm gonna, you know, put up on my wall. But I do, um, I do like it. I I like how it's different from what I usually create. Um, and sometimes it's hard to break away from your own personal aesthetic and design, um, the things that you know how to do and you find easy. Um, and a nice way to do that is to look at some um, other artists' work, see what they do, see how they work a little differently, and just try to try to replicate it, try to do that. Right now I'm just adding in some doodles with the same colors I've been using.
I think that's it for, for my, my piece here. I'm kind of at a stopping point. I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to let this dry and I will definitely uh, post a final picture when it's complete. But um, as you can see, I've taken some inspiration uh, from Matisse and his designs. Um, yeah, so I don't know where to hold it. I haven't copied, I haven't replicated, but I, I used his pieces as inspiration. So um, you can definitely just, if you take anything from this, just take away the idea um, that you should always try new things. Uh, look at what is out there and change it and make it your own. Uh, change the colors, change the shapes. If there's no shading, um, play with shading. If you like using metallics, do that. If you're a watercolor person, do that. Um, there is no end to art. It's, it's limitless. You can do so many different things. So thank you guys for joining me tonight for this artist inspiration. Um, I super appreciate you checking in um, and participating with me. This was my first artist inspiration on YouTube. So um, thank you for giving me grace. They will continue to get um, more interesting and they will continue to uh, get better. So I hope you join me again. I will be doing these um, every three weeks. So you can always find uh, the additional dates and times at uh, www.paintedcicada.com. Um, if you enjoyed creating with me, please make sure you share your work with me. That's the best part of um, having an artist page is being able to see what you guys are creating. Um, if you share your piece with me, if you tag me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter um, at Painted Cicada, I will enter you for a chance to win on Freebie Friday. Um, and thanks for joining guys. If you're interested in helping support um, me and my page, um, like this video, share this video, uh, I'm subscribed to my page. I do try to add almost everything I do for free on YouTube as well. Um, I also have um, a buy me a coffee page. So if you're interested in helping support my free events, you can always do so um, at buymeacoffee.com forward slash painted cicada. That's all I have for you guys. Good night.